Hello my friends. Today I will tell you this story about some interesting insects. Insects which are really beloved insects of the most of people of different ages. From the kids till the adults and all people they like them. Because they are insects. But not only insects, they are butterflies. And these butterflies they are really awesome. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. People enjoy them when you see them flying around. It's like your dream flying around. You want to see, you want to touch, you want to enjoy it. And some people, entomologists, they are studying them and publishing books like that. And I will tell you the story about these books and also a few words about these insects. These butterflies. Here I put some moths. These that are not daily moth. These are night moth. Family Noctuide. And I will tell you. Usually entomologists they collect butterflies or moths and put them inside some boxes, and they are making collections. And people later publishing books about them. And I will tell you about these four books published in Ukraine about butterflies. These are atlases. Atlases about butterflies, moths, or just in Latin language, Lepidoptera. The first book, this is a book, Zoya Kluchko, Moths of Ukraine. Yes, the night time moths. They're not very big, some of them are actually bigger than others from maybe 5 cm till approximately 1 cm size. In these books, in the fauna of Ukraine, it's described the distribution of species, the places where they live, the time of flight, and also trophic relations to their host plants. All these lovely moths. Zoya Kluchko. This is a book. And another one, these are daytime butterflies. It's published by Vadim Chikolavets and Yuri Nekrutenko in 2005 and another one in 2006. And also here, atlases. Atlases, photographs of high quality of different families of daytime butterflies with map and places of distribution of this species, this cut of these butterflies, type locality, and also about tropical relations, host plants of these butterflies. And another one, this is a book, uh, Butterflies of Crimea, in the south Ukraine, Crimea Peninsula. Yeah, you've heard of and Budashkin, it's, it was published in 1990, but here you can see only just colorful public, colorful illustrations. But this is a good book, because here just pretty long and very carefully done list of species, and also atlas of species. And then recently Vladimir Savchuk published a book, Butterflies and Caterpillars in Crimea Peninsula, South Ukraine. So in Crimea he found how many species? He found 225 species which he photographed and put here. Different families of butterflies and moths as well. He put here carefully data about biology of these butterflies also about host plants and also he, he reared them on these host plants. In a different, different places he collected material carefully, bred the material in laboratory and he took this wonderful, really awesome photograph of the 225 species, all documented with his original photos. He published it under auspices of Karadakh 
National Reserve in Crimea. And this book is available in author he is living in Feodosia in Crimea. Lovely book about Ukrainian butterflies. So, if you like butterflies, of course you need Atlas. So, when you open it, you can make identification of species, at least preliminary. If you want to receive opinion of expert, welcome to the, your central city, maybe to the capital of Ukraine, like here, now in Ukraine, where in Institute of Zoology people, entomologists, will help you with identification of species, either moths, butterflies, or beetles, grasshoppers, or other insects, and for that you need to ask advice from experts, experts, zoologists, entomologists. And books like Atlases are very helpful for your for knowledge, for literature review, for use, for description of biodiversity in your region, and of course, final expert solution you can end a receive in the Institute of Zoology or from expert who is studying these groups like these butterflies or other groups of beetles or other groups of insects. So, if you like to get correct identification, make a good collection, put your collection inside boxes, save it carefully, write labels and bring it to expert, to Natural History Museum or to university and ask experts for identification. That's my sto short story about butterflies in moth in Ukraine, about these lovely books published recently in Ukraine. And see you soon in other videos. Good luck!